They were the ones to beat. They were always so cocky and confident, and they had that real aura. Obviously, we still thought we were the, the you know, the measuring stick. We've been in really good form, you know. We won 15 straight, and I've never seen the guys look so confident. I always say you need a lot of luck. You need your best side going for most of the year to, to, to get to a grand final, to win a grand final. James Hurd and Michael Voss, two men who shared the Brownlow medal, about to toss the coin. You understand that your career and the, and the games, everything's on a knife's edge and two or three injuries can really hurt a team. I think Essendon had a couple of injury issues and, and I think they were a little bit below what they had been. We had some tired and sore bodies, so we sort of limped into the finals. We carried a couple of sore players in, but they're the risk you take. James Hurd, there's been a question mark over his groin all week. We knew something was up with Hurdy because of um, the amount of training he'd done. So we knew he was underdone, but felt that he was still the bloke you wanted to lead out there. James Hurd, 60% fit, could cut you to ribbons. It is Chris Scott for Hurd. No, he's pointed to uh, his brother. So. Brad Scott goes in. Probably just letting him know that, uh, you know, if, uh, if, uh, if you're doing anything to me, brother, well, you've got me the answer to. If I'd known I was playing on Jones Heard the night before the game, I wouldn't have slept much. Chris and I often let the opposition forwards know that they were going to be in for a torrid day and it wasn't just going to be from their direct opponent. So the moment has arrived. Haven't we been waiting? Well, you never know when you go in a grand final or what's going to happen. Don't get too stressed trying to anticipate what someone else is going to do. Just do what, uh, what, what we do and do it well. Voss, so cleverly, so strong, to White. White with a bounce. Lines looking good early. He'll draw and go to Hart. Hart's a left footer. It sits for him now. He'll get onto his left. He does now. Good kick. kick. Penetrating kick. Lovely play. When that siren goes, it's game on. And uh, they're going to have to be good to beat us. It's not bad. Behind. Here's Akramanis, the Brownlow medal slips but recovers. Sends the Lions deep in towards Lynch territory again. In front of him is Daniel Bradshaw. But he also misses. Brisbane have had a chance to really get the dream start here and they haven't done it. Yeah, they're just letting Essendon off the hook at the moment, the Brisbane Lions. While we, we'd missed some opportunities, you know, we were, the floodgates were going to open at some stage and that was really the way we played our footy. You know, that we, we grind sides down. You're waiting for the Essendon wheel as a player to start to kick in. Fletcher straight down the middle. Delightful hand pass from Carousella off to Lucas. Maybe Lloyd will get an opportunity now. Funny thing about footy is it's a game of opportunities. You, you only have a certain amount per game, and, and Brisbane is sort of probably wasting theirs, really. Jonathan Brown centering in towards full forward, and the mark is taken to the back by Lynch. Lynch, has he missed it? I think he's missed it. It's close. He has. I wouldn't say my challenges were um, uh, more than other players. I think they were different to other players. And the strength that he that he had to get to come back from his chronic fatigue. Lynch, he never travelled to Perth. We never took him on the long haul trips because of the fact that it took him so long to recover. Lynch's career was nearly gone through his illness and they'd come back and had a great career. What a great start for Alistair Lynch playing his 249th game. Needs to kick a goal for Lynch. Yeah, the chronic fatigue stuff was a, a major issue. I was lucky that my career stretched long enough to be a part of this group. And you get to a stage of your career where you think maybe it's gone by, the opportunity to play in a premiership team. Hart it off, goes for goal, no. Comes out wide and finds Lynch. Oh. Surely. Fletcher's decked him unceremoniously. Justin Fletcher played on me that day, and you know, I don't think there was any talk whatsoever. Off the ground, Voss, pretty effective, and Lynch has got it. You just wonder how many chances you're going to get against Fletcher at the end of the day. I remember, Fletcher used to hate playing him because he used to throw him around like a rag doll, because Fletcher's all skin and bones, and, and, and Lynchy was just a, a man mountain. Well, I had to try to engage him in one on one contests because I know I wasn't going to outrun him. Maybe over 10 metres, probably, but that was about it. 
got him, not quite. Fletcher terrific. Two Mr. Gadgets at once. Fletcher could always use those go-go gadget arms and just and spoil it away. Squeezes into the goal square. Lots of marking chances. Fletcher was terrific after Bradshaw's first touch. Lynch and Wellman, some courage. Mark Johnson, Fletcher will play for us. Fletcher's still playing. I mean, he's a marvel. Left foot going and going. Fletcher, he saves the day. I felt like we were going really well, but they just just stay in the game. Um, we soon realised we had a, a game on our hands and, and it was going to go down to the wire. Amasiti, so into play, out wide. Nothing's happening for the Bombers. No Lloyd, no Hurd. Fletcher struggling their three champs. The real players who you just expected to be big game players weren't having an influence. There's only so many opportunities you're going to get. We should have capitalised on, on that a lot better. Yeah, I think it was like a big heavyweight battle. The champ or the guy that's, I suppose, trying to take on the champ come out swinging. Solomon going back, Voss off the ground. Akamura for the foot. That's brilliant. He's got it. The Brownlow medalist has put him in front. It's quarter time here at the MCG in the 2001 Grand Final. The Lions are 3-7. They lead Essendon 3-2, the margin five points. Yeah, the game is very much a blur. Threw the black armband tape at us to obviously uh, signify, stick it up yours, you blokes. <laughs>